10 shillings will steal 100 if they have an opportunity. A person who steal 100 will steal 1,000 should they get the opportunity. And therefore, I think we need to strengthen our institutions so that we deal with those that are dipping their hand in the till, even as we seek to expand our revenue base. Now, having said that, the issue of devolving functions has been a contentious issue, not because it's, it's not expressly stated and dictated by the Constitution, but mostly because function is followed by money. That is where the contention has been. And because the national government wants to retain as much as possible of the national cake, then in that case, they because you remember, if you fully devolve a function, you're typically saying, we have given you everything. But look at it this way. One of the most contentious functions that has been devolved is health. Are we better off uh, after 2010, 24 years down the line, in terms of our health systems, than we were. The governors argue if you had given us the money, we would have been far much better off. But the national government says so far what we have given you, we have not seen value. I'll give you for example. Yesterday someone was at uh, a Triru hospital. They had gone to take a child there at 9 o'clock in the morning. They left there at 10 p.m. in the evening because there was only one doctor and by the time they were leaving, there was no medicine. Now, that is the state of health, which is a devolved function. I say this, and I submit that, in my own case, I believe it's good to follow the law to the letter in terms of devolving the functions. But at the same time, we must be very careful, especially when we have a system where people are likely to dip their hand in the till in devolving some of these functions. Because remember, Money, as the wakil was rightly saying, goes to the consolidated fund. Now, in that consolidated fund, we have money that needs to pay debt. You know, money needs to go to various uses. And therefore, progress 